Sometimes the streets win. You know, at first it was it was fast money, all glory, with, with with the bad ending. And if you go outside around here, back in the 80s, you miss life, because life will pass you by. They kill you. End up running a kitchen in the penitentiary and learned a whole lot about cooking in bulk. But it's no place for anybody to be. It was a hurting life experience, but it changed me. It really changed me. In many cases, you'll see a community like Watts, and then you'll see a headline, and the headline will only say, violence, murder rate, joblessness. And then there'll be no definition into the people or the character. There's a lot of sensitivity for businesses coming in here to exploit the community. What we hope to do is to develop something that can benefit the neighborhood, provide jobs, provide healthy fast food. Roy was welcomed to the community by the people. He talked to people in the projects and asked people, we want to start this new revolution over here in Watts. Is it all right with y'all that we bring some good, healthy food for your kids for the future? Roy wanted to hire people from the community from day one. So he came in and gave us our directions and gave us the way to go and said, all we have to do is follow his path and we'll be successful. When you can't make it in society, it hurts you. Local health, Robert, mental, physically and spiritually. That's a plus in his direction as far as him staying positive in life. It just brings a lot to the neighborhood. And if it's only two or three of us working here, it's still changing lives every day. We don't have to worry about the penitentiary no more. We don't have to worry about selling stuff that's gonna harm our community anymore. All of this hospitality that we, that we represent and that we exude here in local is a hospitality of Watts. I'm determined. You know, I had passion for this. This is what I wanted to do all my life, was cook. You can turn anybody there around with some food. Watch this here to stay.